So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your part 4 of calculator app in React Native in which we are just making a calculator app using React Native, right? So let's just continue off where we left in the last part. So right now you can see that our calculator interface kind of looks um, complete, I believe. The buttons are in place, the buttons, buttons kind of respond a little well as well and they are full width right so you can just click here and will just respond right you can click here and the four would respond so if we just if you can just draw the boundaries then you would be able to see that these are actually enclosed inside a boundary right okay so anyways um, first of all let me just fix this that this should be a dot right here right and uh, what we have for now is that uh, we have to actually um, get the function, get some sort of function called whenever I click on this button. So let's just go ahead and create this. So I'm going to say that this is something like um, button pressed. Right, so I'm just going to say that I would just get the, um, you know, text of that particular button let's just see so right here what we can say is something like when I click on this on on press I believe so once you do that what I want to do is just call this function right here this dot button press with the argument of nums I and J Right, so if I just go ahead and save this and if I just console.log this as well, hit save. And if I just go ahead and shake my device here a little and enable, and actually it's already enabled, so we should be able to see it somewhere right here. So you can see that our um, app right here is enabled. So it's just... Um, bugging about that we should add a key property so that it kind of fits well with react so i can just do that and these warnings would go away so it's not a problem right here so what we can do now is tap a button so one two three four five six seven eight nine zero dot and equal to okay everything is responding correctly right so what we want to do is basically once we tap on these particular buttons i want to update um, this thing right so what I want to do here is say for example first of all let me just get the view right here which is responsible for this and this is our this one this view right so what we want to do is basically set this text to something like this dot state dot uh, let's just say result text because again as I told you earlier if I change my state variable somewhere then the rendered render call would automatically be called by react under the hood and it will just update that particular thing that particular component right so what I can do right here is just say and actually right here we can just keep the result text blank it does not really matter if it's null it just does not print that so what I'm gonna do is say this dot set state and I'm going to say result text is whatever the text was. So this dot state dot result text plus our updated text right here, which comes from the button, right? So if I save this and see like one, two, if I type 12, so you can see that it reflects right here. So if I can just remove this and say 12.54 like that or 549, something like that. Now the problem with this is obviously like if I type equal to then it this um, writes that as well because it's not really distinguishing right now between the different kind of numbers. The only thing which is not a number really right now here is this equal to sign because a decimal can be you know you can regard it as a number because 
um, it is used with numbers so what you want to do is add a little bit of validation here so let's just add an equal to validation so I'm just gonna say if text is equal to an equal to well in that case what we want is um, we want the actual result so far which we have right here so I'm just gonna say calculate result here with this dot state dot result text like that and actually we can just return from here as well so I'm just gonna say and actually this should be this right so I'm just gonna say calculate result and I'm just gonna say text here we could have just accessed it here also but yeah actually we can just do it right here as well because we have access to state in all the methods right so what I'm gonna do is just say constant text is um, my result text so we actually need to um, now parse this text basically like you have to bro break this text into tokens and then perform all the operations accordingly right so we're gonna um, learn a little bit of tricks here how computers actually do calculation so that's basically how we are going to, going to proceed so when you actually enter a huge um, kind of like three plus three times six um, let's just say raised to the power of five divided by two plus seven all that stuff so how a computer would read that we'll just take a look at that later on right when we'll come to parsing this text right so that could be an example for us so for now um, we have fixed the equal to problem so you can see that if I tap on equal to we do not really get that equal to typed and again um, what we can do is just basically not allow a lot of zeros in the front it's okay to have zeros like that but it's not really okay to have zeros a lot of zeros in the front right and actually what we need to do is add a back button to the app as well and if we just take a look inside the calculator what we have is a delete button right here right so what we have is one two three four five but um, how's it working division multiplication minus and plus plus minus multiplication division two three four one two three four one two three four five okay yeah so the rows are uneven um, the number of rows are uneven in this case so yeah we can just do that um, that should be easy for us now we just have to add a let's say um, let's just keep it D for now to delete the text right and what we can do is just basically let it wait and what I want to do now is if I type something and if I press this D button right here I want um, this text last element to be deleted now this is a little bit of tricky part here because right here we are just generalizing it over the loop so what we want to do instead is what we can do is uh, let me just think um, I guess we could add each of them separately or what we can do is just on press we can pass in this function um, let's just say this is operate and actually we have to do this dot operate here and say operations of I right so once we have that what we can do is call this operate function with the operation right and I'm just gonna switch over this operation because why the hell not so I'm gonna say case D which is the delete in our case what I want is I, I want to update the state again Rem remember this text right here is set with the set state so what we have is let's just say we got our text back again this dot state dot um, result text which gives us this text right here back to us right okay so what I want to do now is actually just split it so what you can do is just slice it or just you know convert it into an array and just do it in one line so I'm just gonna do it in one line I split it by every character then what I want to do is just um, you know 
um, actually we can just do like text dot pop I guess it's pop for back and unshift for front so we should be good so once we have done that and uh, actually we can just say let text here right here and text jo dot join and actually you could just run a slice call here as well I don't really remember its syntax otherwise I would have done that but uh, here we are simply with the split call as well so um, now what we have is that we want to update the state again so I'm just gonna call in set state method right here and say result text is again equal to our text right here so if I hit save now and if I just type something like 555 hit D you can see that it gets erased and obviously that's a bad example because all the this was same so if I write one two three and uh, okay how it did it add a comma itself if I delete it okay so here we are with our first bug I'm, I'm not really sure how it did that let's just reload it so um, if I add like five 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 one two three how the hell did that come up here there so if I do delete now so it saves me this dot state dot result text dot split is not a function okay well um, why is it not I believe we can just um, console.log our this dot state dot result text here every time so that we can just see in the console what exactly is going on so if I just reload it here so if I write 555 five, five numbers like that and hit delete a lot of times so we see that if I hit delete a lot of times we get this thing so let's just see it in the debugger so um, we have it correctly uh, wait a second what exactly is happening here this is um, oh obviously because this should go like here because we cannot just split over an array again right so if I do like this now and hit delete yeah it makes sense now because what I was doing here is that I was just joining it but I'm I was not storing this result anywhere right so it just it was just a waste call so now you can type basically anything like if I just remove this dot and all that stuff and hit delete to delete that and here you are it's just a basic implementation of the typing feature for now and that's all for this video i guess and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next video